The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is one of the richest countries in the world in terms of money. However, the nation's tourist business was limited to religious travel, specifically the Hajj and Umrah. And that's when things began to alter in 2017. In Saudi Arabia, projects including the Al-Ula, Qidiya, and Red Sea projects are starting to be completed. Welcome back to The Wealthiest, where you will learn the ins and outs of the world's elite, how they live, and how they spend their accumulated wealth. Let's get started. This raises a question, is the kingdom really starting to gain popularity as a travel destination? The Kidia is a large project that Saudi Arabia has started working on. Large-scale entertainment complex Kidia is planned for Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. It is envisioned as a place where Saudi youth can realize their dreams. Imagine going to school, working, and living in a brand new entertainment city incredibly safe and three times larger than Paris. A city with year-round pleasant weather, plenty of entertainment options, sports, and art galleries that are futuristic, smart, and opulent. Seems like a dream from far away. But at a cost of $75 billion, this is what exactly the Saudi government is constructing outside the capital Riyadh. A haven for tourists, Kidiya is an incredible mega-entertainment city with the biggest collection of attractions on the planet, including a water park, theme park, sports arenas with racetracks, gyms, libraries, swimming pools, education and innovation centers, art galleries and museums, orchestra houses, dining and retail establishments, hotels, and more. Here are some details of the breathtaking entertainment city since we actually don't know of any other mega entertainment project to contrast it with. Saudi Arabia is a pleasant, forward-thinking, affluent, and glamorous country with plenty of entertainment options. But it has a serious issue. Its incredible capital, Riyadh, has seen an explosion in population over the last 10 years, and by 2024, it is expected to reach 8 million residents. Furthermore, the city's population is youthful and affluent, and it welcomes an average of 5 million tourists annually. The government has made significant investments in the city to make it a really remarkable, world-class metropolis. The city must, meanwhile, keep up with the rapidly growing and explosive demand for sports, entertainment, and arts. Because of this, and in line with the Saudi 2030 vision, which calls for transforming the nation into a global center for technology, tourism, transportation, business, as well as industry, it was decided to construct the enormous, unique Kidia Entertainment City just outside of Riyadh. When Kidia completes its construction, it will be the biggest center for sports, entertainment, and arts, not only in the Middle East, but the entire world. Saudi Arabia has been in the news lately because of the several new projects that are emerging there. There is more now. A 40-minute drive from Riyadh, Kidia City is nestled among the Tuwaik Mountains and offers an unforgettable blend of sports, entertainment, and culture. Kidia City is the ultimate playground right outside the metropolis of Riyadh, just a short distance away. This wonderland, which is 360 kilometers in length, has a village. The Kidia Project. What is it? The Kidia Investment Company, a branch of the Saudi government-owned public investment fund, is in charge of developing and owning this huge development. The project's location is also extremely unique. 45 kilometers distance the center of Kidia from downtown Riyadh and 70 kilometers distance it from King Khalid International Airport, one of the world's top five biggest and most advanced international airports. Due to its distinct terrain, which includes mountainous terrain, the Kidia project site is ideal for outdoor recreation and extreme sports. By 2030, it is expected to be the largest tourist attraction in the world. In front of a worldwide audience, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud conducted the historic event for the Kidaya project on April 28, 2018. This massive project is one of the flagship projects announced under Saudi Vision 2030. The Saudi Crown Prince intends to make Riyadh a rival to Dubai and Abu Dhabi by raising the sector's GDP contribution from 3% to 10%. The Secretary General of the Foundation Council for the Kidaya project, Fahad bin Abdullah, stated that there is a great need to provide them with entertainment because nearly two-thirds of Saudi Arabia's 32 million population are under 35. The project will eventually cost tens of billions of rials. The cost of the infrastructure alone might reach $8 billion in U.S. currency. The region hopes to welcome 17 million tourists yearly by 2030, and it is projected that this will support 25,000 employment and produce up to 17 billion rials in GDP. The owners of the project are interested in reaching out to the youth of Saudi Arabia, who make up over two-thirds of the country's population. With Kidaya, 
Saudi Arabian youth would be able to fulfill their dreams. They will be in an environment where they may enjoy themselves and recognize, pursue, grow, and nourish their potential. Kidaya aims to become the global hub for sports, entertainment. Within a few minutes, we will be discussing the main methods the projects have fulfilled all these pillars. It will include the largest water theme park in the Middle East, the 4-kilometer Falcon's Flight roller coaster, which will serve as the primary entertainment attraction, is the fastest, tallest, along with the longest roller coaster in the world. It also happens to be the largest theme park under six flags. So there's something for all of us, with that said, it is essential to take a look at the enormous theme and water parks in Kidia. No matter how fantastic a city is for enjoyment, it wouldn't feel the same without a theme park and water park, some of which have roller coasters. The largest Six Flags Park. Let's start with the incredible, unmatched, nearly full Falcon's Flight Roller Coaster at Six Flags Kidia. At more than $1 billion, Six Flags Kidia is set to become the largest theme park globally and one of the most costly construction projects in history. Six distinct areas make up the almost 80-acre theme park. The City of Thrills, the Valley of Fortune, Discovery Springs, Steamtown, Twilight Gardens, as well as Grand Exposition. There will be 35 top-notch rides there, many of which are unique to Saudi Arabian culture. The Falcon's Flight, the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world, will be the centerpiece attraction. At a staggering 160 meters, the enormous steel tower will be the tallest freestanding coaster construction in the world. This coaster is a bit over 4 kilometers long, which is really insane. Even with the use of the LSM launch technique, the speed exceeds 250 km per hour. Our goal is to create an exciting one-of-a-kind destination that will draw visitors from throughout Saudi Arabia to experience record-breaking roller coasters, as well as the sporting and cultural facilities that Kidia will offer. By partnering with a global leader, we know that we are going to deliver something exceptional, stated Michael Reininger, the chief executive of Kidia, in a press release. In order to provide all Saudi citizens with access to a top-notch entertainment destination, Saudi Arabia and Six Flags Entertainment Corporation will collaborate. Kidia Water Park. Next is the $750 million Kidia Water Park, which is located nearby. It covers an area of more than 62 acres and has 23 really special rides. It will be the first water theme park in the world with a unique combination of dry and wet attractions and national competition level centers. Alex Saudi Arabia Engineering and ELSAF Engineering Contracting are building this incredible water park. Apart from offering rides and entertainment, the park will also make a positive impact on sustainability by employing cutting-edge environmental systems that drastically cut down on water usage in comparison with other water parks. Many additional enormous and distinctive attractions, such as hundreds of locations and significant facilities with the goal of keeping thrill-seekers occupied, will be included in Kidia. Jack Nicholas Championship Golf Course. There will be the renowned Jack Nicholas Championship Golf Course, with the stunning majesty of the Kidia region and the towering Tuwaik Mountain as its surroundings. Additionally, a massive 20,000 seat stadium and an 18,000 seat gaming arena are being built. An 18 hole golf course will have a clubhouse. Both casual gamers and professional golfers will have a venue to enjoy the game. Prepare for a unique golfing experience as the course, which will be played by novices and competitive players alike, will be designed by the best players in the game. Speed Park Not to mention the Speed Park, which enhances the oral experience of the race vehicles while creating a dynamic shape and unique visual picture based on the architectural concept of the slipstream. This speed park serves thrill-seekers and fans of motorsports with a race course that has been certified as an FIA Grade 1. It provides an exciting environment in which guests can enjoy driving, passenger rides, karting, and other exhilarating activities. The designer of this incredible 34-corner lightning-fast circuit is XF1 driver Alexander Wurz. The 7-kilometer circuit is shaped like a figure 8 and is situated between mountains, providing a range of elevations. Driving is a significant difficulty because drivers are unable to take a little break due to frequent steering and short straightaways. Performing Arts Center The first premium multi-use theater in the kingdom, the Performing Arts Center, is located close by and will host a range of events, including educational and performing arts programs. Everybody can find something to suit them. We will be able to share with the world our passion for the arts and highlight the kingdom's rich cultural legacy. Numerous study opportunities and activities will be available for individuals seeking to refine their artistic abilities. Arts Complex 
A range of showcases such as art exhibits and performances, co-share and pop-up events will be held in the multi-purpose area. A range of educational programs and opportunities will be offered for visiting emerging artists. Of course, there also exist magnificent festival spaces where local and international performers may present their music through concerts, events and festivals, hotels, thrilling attractions, as well as skate parks. Plans call for the resort core to include up to four hotels, a skate park, and entertainment venues. Two hotels have lately been proposed for the project, the Aqua Hotel Kidia and the Rock Hotel Kidia. Mike Reininger, the CEO of Kadaya, said back in 2019 that the company was currently choosing five hotel chains to be a part of a master plan. Kidia Village. There will be a mixed-use community where people may live, work, play, and relax in Kidia Village. Blocks with colored pavement will draw locals and tourists alike to explore the exciting things this lively area has to offer. Along with a range of commercial, retail, and residential spaces, it will also include a number of sports and cultural events. Kidia Outlet Mall and High Street Kidia Village is set to become a well-liked retail destination, with the addition of an outlet mall as well as a high street as part of the plans. Festival Grounds Remarkably, the festival grounds will be located in the resort core. Kidia has described the festival grounds as an entertainment zone featuring a diverse range of events, concerts, shows, and festivals. It will be an exciting new location for local and international bands to play brand new songs and enthrall the audience with their newest hits. Large Mosque A sizable mosque that is the focal point of the city and a place of prayer for social events. With homes situated over shop runs in a mixed-use high street, shopping, and service opportunities. The Eco Core lies northwest of the resort's center, are designed around a range of animals, opportunities for close interactions with the natural world, an environmentally friendly golf course, outdoor sports, and a number of unique accommodation alternatives that make the most of this stunning desert landscape. Adventure sports, camping, climbing, abseiling, hiking, mountain biking, and trekking are just a handful of the sports EcoCore will promote. Motion Core, the Motion Core, situated southeast of the Resort Core, will host events, residential alternatives, and hotel services driven by the science and technology of people in motion. In addition, Motion Core will house a motorsports business park, motion center, and tech park. Why did they build Kidia? Kidia is in the area for two key reasons. First, the population of Saudi Arabia has expanded quickly since the 1960s, and an increasing number of the country's youth are searching for locations to spend their money. Second, a large number of Saudis travel overseas for their yearly vacations, spending $20 billion annually outside of the nation. Additionally, Matthew Pretty of Cumming Corporation is a former senior vice president of worldwide production for Walt Disney Imagineering. Stated, it has to be so compelling that people would want to go back. Repeat, visitation is very important, because at the end of the day, this is a business. Principal Advantages of the Project The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is anticipated to gain a lot from Megakidia in a number of ways. Among the principal advantages are number 1. Economic Diversification As a major industry in the government's Vision 2030 plan, tourism will be promoted by the project contributing to the diversification of the Saudi economy. Number 2. Economic Growth It is anticipated that the development of Mega Kidia will generate thousands of employees in the construction and operation sectors and strengthen the local economy by drawing more tourists. Number 3. Better Infrastructure Development The project's construction is going to require the extensive expansion of transport infrastructure, including highways, airports, and other facilities, which will benefit the nation in the long run. Number 4. A Rise in Foreign Investment Large amounts of international investment are anticipated to be drawn to Mega Kidia, which might boost economic expansion and strengthen the nation's balance of payments. Number 5. Enhanced Communication Between Cultures The project's anticipated cultural exchange and educational component will have a platform thanks to Mega Kidia. This could encourage a deeper comprehension of the region's and the kingdom's cultural history. Number 6. Everybody can find something to enjoy Kidia's designers made sure to include something for everyone's interests. You can get everything you need here, a day out shopping, or to indulge your inner foodie. Number 7. Support for non-oil industries Through encouraging growth in non-oil industries like tourism and entertainment, the project is anticipated to assist the nation in reducing its reliance on oil-related revenue sources. Number 8. Global Reach 
It is anticipated that the project will draw tourists from all over the world, promoting Saudi Arabia as a travel destination and maybe improving the nation's standing. Saudi Arabian people would have access to a top-notch entertainment destination thanks to this proposal, enhanced quality of life, and promoted investment in the areas surrounding the project. Kidia embodies more than a project. It's a motion. It stands for the kingdom's dedication to advancement and creativity. This massive project has the potential to completely change the region's tourism and entertainment scene by drawing tourists from all over the world with its creative design and dedication to sustainability. I hope our insight into craziest mega project you'll ever see was very interesting to know. Of course, the massive and ambitious Kidia project is expected to be among the world's most innovative and fascinating improvements. Kidia, a Saudi Arabian destination, seeks to establish itself as a unique sports, entertainment, and cultural hub. Kidia will provide a variety of events and attractions for people of all ages. If you like our video, please leave a comment letting us know what you liked and why. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to show your support and not miss any upcoming content. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, dream big and shoot for the stars.